Hi, welcome once again to Friendship Moments with Friendship Baptist Church in Killen, Alabama. Thank you for joining me today. Let's start our session with a word of prayer. Precious Heavenly Father, it's so wonderful that we can come to you as small children and, and trust you and talk with you and learn from you and depend upon you. And well, Lord, we trust you. You said you would keep us in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because we trust in you. When we're trusting in you, the cares of this life pass away, for we know that we can trust you to take care of them for us. So, Lord, I thank you for the privilege of being able to stand here and share with people the things that you have shown me in your word and the things that you're even today showing me. Help us to grow, Lord. Help us to be willing to lay down teaching that uh, we've perhaps gone deeper into and need to let go of some of the lighter things, Lord, and get deep into your word so that you can change us with your word by the power of your Holy Spirit. We just long to be like Jesus, and to see him face to face is going to be so wonderful, Lord. Thank you for your presence with us now. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. To talk to you a little bit today about wisdom. We've all been children, and most of us had parents who tried to tell us how to live, make, give us advice, correct us. And most of us, or at least I was that way, my attitude was they don't know anything. I know it, know it all. And they just don't understand what's going on in my life. They've been old always. But we know that's not true. As we grew older, we had our children. I often think of Adam and Eve. You know, I wonder sometimes if they said, Cain, quit aggravating your little brother. You know, learn to get along. It'll help you later in life. What is wisdom? Well, according to the Oxford Dictionary, wisdom is the capacity of judging rightly in matters relating to life and conduct, soundness of judgment in the choice of means and ends, and sound sense, especially in practical affairs. Our Father in Heaven feels that wisdom is important, for through His Holy Spirit, He, he impressed upon the writers of our our Bible, to use the word wisdom over 200 times. And that's in every translation that I could find. There were at least 200 times. So where do we obtain true wisdom? Well, Proverbs 9.10 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. The fear of the Lord in relation to the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Christians is to be in awe of his might and his strength. He is all-powerful. He withdraws his breath, everything dies. He withdraws his light, everything is gone. He has complete holiness and perfect love. James 4, 5 says, but if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all generously and without reproach, and it will be given to him. So, we need wisdom to live. From the pen of the wisest and richest man who ever lived, we read this, that he set out to know the wisdom and instruction, to discern the sayings of understanding, to receive instruction in wise behavior, in righteousness, justice, and equity. That's in Proverbs 1, 2, and 3. That would lead us directly into a successful life. If you seek godly wisdom and follow his wisdom, you will be a success in your Heavenly Father's eyes, and he's the only one that you really need to try to please. He will reward you with blessings you have never imagined. I don't mean wealth. I don't mean beauty. I don't mean fun. I mean blessings you've never imagined. So I hope today that you know Jesus is your Savior and his Father as your Father. 
the great and all-powerful God who spoke and created all life. Thank you and blessings.